In North Korea today, millions compelled to cast ballots, not to choose, but instead to endorse a slate of state-sanctioned legislators for parliament as a national celebration. For the Kim Jong-un regime, appearances matter, and so do new commercial satellite images that raise new concerns this week about whether North Korea is restoring missile facilities or readying to launch a rocket. I don't really want to get into speculation about what they're doing. But experts are trying to assess the risks. We don't know what this means. It could be for launch. It could be just for activities. The point is, it is signaling something. For President Trump, who has invested U.S. credibility in his personal relationship with Kim Jong-un, the North Korean leader is at the very least testing patience. I inherited a mess with North Korea, and right now you have no testing, you have no nothing. Let's see what happens. But I would be very disappointed if I saw testing. That frustration aggravated by the failure to reach an agreement with Kim to denuclearize while in Hanoi. Wyoming Republican Liz Cheney said today President Trump was right to walk away from a bad deal, but any negotiation is perilous. I would say that Republican and Democratic administrations got taken by him. I hope this president won't. President Trump returned to the White House tonight on the eve of what is typically a major policy event in Washington, unveiling the new federal budget proposal. And this time it will restart a fight over border wall funding. Senior administration officials tell me the president is asking for $8.6 billion for a border wall. Democrat Speaker Pelosi and Leader Schumer say Congress will not fund that amount, renewing the fight over the border. Hey, NBC News fans, thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Subscribe by clicking on that button down here and click on any of the videos over here to watch the latest interviews, show highlights, and digital exclusives. Thanks for watching.